Yes, we are four equal parts that make up one instrument. So we take part in musical decisions, in rehearsals, and in performances. I believe that everyone has a worth in the quartet or in the, in the ensemble that you're, you're in. And I find that it's very important that there is a respect for each member of the group. You know, everybody has to feel very comfortable throwing out their ideas. It's like a, in a rehearsal, it's a little bit like a, everybody has a, is throwing out a spark of light and it's reaching everyone else and, and their ideas are being heard and tried. I always like to give this example. Um, when a person is suggesting to do something uh, maybe play a, a passage in a, di in a different way. Even though you feel deep down that it's a stupid suggestion and you, you don't want to try it at all, it is your duty to respect that person's ideas and to try it with all your might and all your, you know, in a, in a good way. And, and because even though it may not be the end way to play it, it may surprise you, it might be a good way to do it, but it can lead to a, a better way to interpret that one you had before. Having discussion when a, within a quartet is vital. It's very, because everybody, you, you realize everybody has a stake in this, and that's an important feeling in a group. But it's very, very important that you listen to each member of the group and honor what they say. And so in a sense, that is a democracy, and I think that's very, very important. Now, with that said, you know, there are, you know, somebody always does something better than another person that's just being human. And again, in a, in a quartet, I think it's very important for, for a person to realize that. You know, you can't do everything well, and you have to realize this person does something better, and I can learn from that. There are so many facets to our work, from organizing our music library, our recordings, our internet presence, um, the composers we work with, each one of us takes a leadership role in these areas. And I, I think that um, a quartet is strongest when each person feels totally invested in at least one particular area of the work, and, and they are the leader. The fact that we do new music, it keeps one fresh and keeps our playing vital. And I find that really great as a player and as an ensemble. The main thing is that I just love David's sound, I love Hank's sound, and I love Sonny's sound. And, you know, it's something that it's just a joy to be around that. I mean, this is my favorite parts in a quartet often are where I'm resting, and I just get to sit back and hear everybody else play. Also having a composer in the rehearsal, having that fifth member being able to give some ideas, perhaps insight on how to interpret something, that's very, very special. We get inspired by each other. We get inspired by the music that we get to play, the people we meet, the relationships that we get to nurture and develop, and the possibilities for um, bringing our music to people in many corners of the world and, and um, attempting, I would say, to bring together uh, the mosaic of experience that the world of music really is. And that is energizing. As the newest member in the group, it is so wonderful and inspirational to see the other three members, David, Joan, and Hank, still get excited about a new composer and a new project as though they are just starting out. Often I go home and I put on a, uh, I actually listen to our CDs because, you know, I enjoy everybody's sound and 
something to learn from everybody's sound too. So that really keeps me wanting to get to those rehearsals and get to those performances all the time. Thank you.